Hi everybody. I'm here with my beautiful friend Simone and we are doing this video because we want to inspire persons who are in a similar position as my friend. Hi Simone. Thank you for being here with me. Um, perhaps you want to start and tell us where are you exactly in the world? Where are you? I'm in Gorenton SDA Church. Gorenton Seventh-day Adventist Church. Where can I find Gorenton? Which island? Jamaica. Oh, the home of the fastest man in the world and of course our regular icon Bob Marley, but we're not here about that. I would like Simone to just tell us about herself. Who are you and if you notice my friend she's in a wheelchair, but we're always in a wheelchair. No. Okay, tell us about that. Well, I'm Simone, I'm 30. Um, wow, you are 30. Yes, oh, wow, I am. you're lovely. Thank you. Um until what happened from the age of 10, I have been in and out of the hospital. The doctor could have finally complained until about 18. They realized that I have a tumor. Where? Where exactly was this tumor? The back of the neck. Oh, okay. Yes. So they say they have to remove it. However, they go ahead and remove it. And um, hold on. How old were you when this happened? I removed it when I was 18. Okay, okay. Yes, and that surgery wasn't successful as I thought it would be. So, after high school, going on to art, where I was pursuing my career in food and nutrition. Okay. Yes, I realized that I started to get healed. So um, what kind of illness? Describe this illness to us. I started to walk with a limb and I started to bleed through my nose. Wow. I was probably passing my stool. And when I take medication, Okay, so did you go back to the doctor this time? Yes, I went back to the doctor. When I went back to the doctor, I saw another neurosurgeon. Okay. And he said that you have to check the hemorrhoid that I did before. I see. And after doing so, he said to me, you know, you have to do an emergency surgery. My goodness. And I'm like, what? He said, yes, because your condition is getting worse. If you don't do it, then you paralyze from your neck. Go down. Okay, so at this point, did you make a decision to do the surgery? No, I didn't make the decision right away. But I'm on the way from the University of Washington. Um, I actually walking on the road crying. Oh my, I can just imagine. And two gentlemen that were by a motor Okay. meditation center. He said to me, that, Why are you crying? And my mom said, because um, the doctor said she had to do an emergency surgery. And um, I was, and they said, go ahead, my mom. Because once you do it, everything will be okay because you have the rehabilitation center just down the road. You can come there. Okay. And it's a therapy. So anyway, my mom said to me, what you decide on doing? And I said, I don't want to paralyze from my neck. So hold on, how old were you at that time? I was 19. Okay. Um, I was 20, started 20. So, um, I actually did. The doctor was such a nice gentleman. He, um, he went ahead and looked at the MRI. And on the way, he called me, let me know. The tumor didn't remove properly. Oh, dear Lord. And it's still there, and that's why I'm having this complication. Oh, my goodness. So, he said I have to do an emergency surgery to remove it. Okay. He said, okay. And then I, it, was, it, it, it was so fast and quick. It's like the hard work. So, so you actually I did the surgery in, the following week? No. When I went to the they, they put it off because the space is a bit full. So they put it off and said, okay, when they get out the space, they will call me back. My goodness, why? So it was an emergency. And, went out, yes. and about a hard week, I was preparing myself to go to this morning by my sister. And when I got a phone call, the one they said I have to call me. Okay. To go to the I'm like, what is this, Lord? And over oh, I still went in. The surgery was successful, done, 10 hours. Oh, so they removed the tumor, finally, all, all of it. the tumor, all of it. And um, God, by the side, I woke up, couldn't sleep well, but sleep, you know, in the recovery room. And 
again talk to me and they told me to move my toes and I did. Okay. Yes, and they took me back to the water. And I'm the water and my mother never leaves my side. That's wonderful. She comes every God bless day. mothers, yes. My friends come, my sisters come there. And unfortunately, I will be Friday. Was there, she used to go so you did the surgery day, what day was it? Tuesday. Tuesday and by the Friday, what happened on Friday? The Friday, the Friday night, I started to um, optimize. So Explain, what do you mean by optimize? I didn't know myself, I started to talk foolishness. Wow. And the nurse, they attended to me, but they didn't know exactly what happened. And they didn't call the doctor. Oh. The doctor was such a nice doctor. He actually gave me some anything. Anything. Um, call me, no matter what time, no matter what time. Oh, that's a wonderful doctor, yes. Call me. That's your own time. He said, call me. And um, I couldn't. And my mother wasn't there. She already left. Left, okay. Yes. So. And so the nurses did not think to call the doctor either? No. No. They didn't. And unfortunately for me, I met a nurse, Nurse Mimo. She was such a wonderful nurse. Wonderful. And God bless the nurses out there. Yes, yes, there was a sister there. They really took very care, good care of me. Okay. But there wasn't there that night. Oh my goodness. So I mean, if they were there, they would have called the doctor. They would have thought of calling the doctor, yes. yes. Okay. So what happened after you started not to be in your right mind? All of them said, turn me down, turn me down, they came and they turned me down. And after they did, I continued to turn me down, they turned me down, until eventually, nothing. Oh, so you, what you're saying, you passed out or what? That's what happened, you were unconscious? Right. Right. No, all right. It's not a Friday, it's a Saturday night. Okay. The Sunday morning, the doctor came over and he said, so it wasn't right, yes, yeah. But God is working in us, anyway. So when he came, he um, called me, Simone, Simone, Simone. Actually, I'm in and out of conscious then. So he said to me, yeah. the find the spinal fluid. Um, it will open your head and also it's weak. So wow. Because of the first surgeon that I did. That went wrong? Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. To the fluid to me because it's already have a whole big cup of it. So it's actually started to move. Okay. Um, anyway, you get a sewage, and it started to pull the fluid out. And I felt it there, but after a while, I started to rush away to the um, CT scan machine. Mm -hmm. I could, all the time I remember going, but I don't remember. So what are you saying? That you actually went and did another surgery? No, I didn't do another surgery. I have to do a bone scan. Oh. Um, to 